Hello everyone, today we will learn about how to find the gradient of a line. That line is drawn into two points, like here. This is A and this is B. So A have the X coordinate X1 and Y coordinate Y1. So for B has the X coordinate X2 and Y coordinate y2 like this so if you want to find the gradient of that point you have to use this formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so by using this one you can find the gradient of the line join is to 2 point minus 2 comma 7 and 4 comma 5 in example 1 so if you want to find the gradient of m so here you have two point so the first point is x1 y1 and the second point can be x2 y2 so you can find uh, the gradient of the line join is these two point maybe here is minus 2 comma 7 and then here will be 4 comma 5 so if you try these two point you will be get the line joining the two point so you can find the gradient of this line by using the formula y equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so for here your x2 your y2 is 5 and your y at 1 is 7 and your x2 is 4 and your y1 is minus 2 so you will be got minus 2 divided by 6 so your answer is minus 1 by 3 so let's try to solve example 2 so example 2 said you are joining the line join is the two points so the first one is 2 comma minus 5 and the other one is 4 comma 8 so we know the gradient of this line it is m and it is negative 1 so you have to work out the gradient a so the formula for the gradient is m equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so where is your x1 and y1 so the given two points are your x1 and y1 so here is x1 y1 and this one is x2 y2 so you can put the value of x1 y1 and x2 y2 inside the equation so you have got a minus minus 5 this is for y1 so x2 is 4 minus your x1 is 2 and you our gradient is equal to minus 1 so we can put here is minus 1 so you have got minus 1 equal to a plus 5 divided by 2 so we will move 2 to the left side so you will got minus 2 is equal to a plus 5 and your a is equal to minus 7 so we got the value of 7 so let's try to solve exercise 5a so for 5a it said we have to show that the three points a, B, and C are collinears. So what does collinear mean? It means all the points are lying on a straight, same straight line. For example, you have a straight line like this. Maybe here is your A, and maybe here is your B, and here will be your C. So all are lying in the same straight line. So they, they all are lying in a straight, straight line. Therefore, we can say that the gradient of A, B, and the gradient of BC and the gradient of AC are the same. So if we can prove like that, we can say these are on the same straight line. So we can say ABC are collinear. So first, we will find you find gradient of AB and then we will find BC and then AC. Okay, so first, we don't need to find any all of three. We just need to find uh, AB and AC is also the same. Okay, so let's try to find the gradient of AB. So I said AB, so A is X1, Y1, and B is X2, Y2. So your value of Y2 here is 4A, and your Y1 is 5A. Your X2 is 0, and your X1 is minus 2A. So we will got minus A divided by 2A. So we got minus 1 by 2. And then we will find gradient of AC. So here we set AC. So AC is X, A is X1, Y1, and your C is x2 y2 for this gradient so here your gradient is to find the gradient your y2 is a and your x2 is uh your x2 is 6a minus so your y1 is 5a and your x1 is minus 2a so you have got minus 4a 
divided by 8a. So if you solve this one, you also got 1 by 2. So you can say gradient of AB is equal to gradient of AC. And then we can conclude that this ABC are called linear. Okay, thanks for watching and next you see you clicks next class.